Okay, so I am recording outside. I wanted to record on the grass, and we were on the grass, but it was way too bright. <laughs> At least it seemed way too bright. So then I moved over here to the shade, and now I was looking to see if there's buttons on the back. And now I'm like, it's a little too shady, but you know what? It's better over here. It was really bright over there. <clears throat> um, it was super bright. It's, it's, it's nice out. So I wanted to, I was like, why not record out here? Let's just start our video out here. So I thought I would, um, change Carly here with you guys. Get her changed. She'd been in this cute little bee outfit for a few days. I've, man, I do not have any newborn girl clothes. Like, I don't know how this has even happened. That's what I'm trying to figure out. But I guess I just haven't had a newborn girl, really, that I ever bought anything for. Um, <clears throat> cause like, the last newborn girls I had something for. Yeah, I didn't really buy much for actually because I haven't kept a newborn girl very long. Lyric was the last time I had one. And she wore, I had a lot of zero to three month stuff for her. This baby, she's not um, as big as Lyric. Lyric's a little more chunky. So she can't really do zero to three months unless it's pretty small. But I have this jockety outfit we're going to put on her. I've had for some while. So these little bloomers, they are um, checkered um, navy blue and white. And then this little chocolatey sleep uh, onesie that says Mon Petit Bon Hero. I don't know how to say that. Anyway, it's a little four leaf clover. Really cute. So this is size one month. Man, that onesie, normal $35. I know that the um, collar on the onesie is actually hand embroidered. I did not pay that. I believe I got the bloomers and the onesie. I got them off of Posh. I believe I got them for, um, it might have been 20 bucks for the whole set. And the bloomers are always just as expensive. But yeah, and then she's got little red jockey shoes that we're going to put on. So put those on her to you. Miss Carly, I really need to get you some... I do look at the newborn clothes, but I haven't... Well, man. You know, I guess I haven't really looked. I need to look. I have been looking for... Um, I'm doing shopping for a Twin A custom. So I'm doing shopping for that baby. So I've been looking for her. <laughs> So when I see like the right thing, I can get it for her. Her mom sent me some extra money to go shopping for her. So um, I do shopping in between here and her getting ready to go home. And then when she's ready to go home, she's got her whole wardrobe that the mommy had me go shopping for. So that's fun. But I just haven't seen anything for Carly. I really haven't seen much for the twin A. So don't give me like I haven't, you know, been seeing all this girl stuff. Um, it's like they're restocking everywhere. I don't know. Okay. Cute. That's adorable. See? Oh my goodness. Okay, and then the little bloomers. So cute. Alright. I have a lot of boy newborn. That's the problem. And I was looking, I was like, well, we can add bows to this and it'll look girly. Give you the little girl look. Put a bow on there. That'll work. Oh my goodness, look at how cute she is. Ah, okay. And her little shoes. Probably should have got some socks. But that's all right. Oh my gosh, so cute. Let's show, let's see, everybody. There she is, she's looking so adorable. Okay, so I know I was saying it was sunny out here, so I was going to show you, like, there's no shade on the lawn, so it's trash day. I like to bring you guys outside when it's trash day, but yeah, so there she is to so see how bright it is. <laughs> Super bright. Oh, 
Hi, little girl. Okay, I wanted to show you guys her in the house. There she is. And she's using my blanket from when I was a baby. Oh my goodness. And I just wanted to give you guys another update on life. Um, Lucinda was just here through the weekend. And that was probably the most I've ate um, since Tambry left. And it was really good. Except for when she left yesterday, it was just like, uh, back to reality, you know? Um, having Lucinda here was like the most normal it has felt since Tambry has left and it just was amazing so I really was able to kind of just feel like my old self for a moment in time and then it was back to reality so no I have not still spoken to her she has not spoken to me um she you know she chose that route she chose to uh find a way to leave and create a bunch of lies and chaos just bottom line, just so she could be an adult, live, run off with her boyfriend, and do those things that, you know, some 18-year-olds like to do. And nothing wrong with that. But Tambry knows that she could have done that just the normal way, not lying, not making up a bunch of BS, and creating chaos so she could be the victim and leave. And then here we are almost two months later. She's still not talking to me. She's carried on with her life. She's at she's at Beans now with her boyfriend. I don't know if she's living there, but she is there. Um, so she's carried on. She's able to work and function and do everything. Nothing is phasing her. While um, my heart's broken, my soul's broken, I'm over here losing weight, not eating. I don't want to go to sleep because I'm afraid to wake up sick. Um, and when all the bottom line is... She could have left just like an adult and we could still be the family that we were. Instead, that she broke up our family and basically Jackie and I are dealing with a death. It's like dealing with a death, right, guys? I mean, she doesn't want to talk to us and it is what it is. It's just, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous because I, I'm i so disappointed in how she's behaving. I don't know who she is. I never knew some, her to be, be able to be this way, so heartless, so... Oh, not caring. I mean, she doesn't care that I can't work, that I'm suffering, that I'm over here dealing with like a death because that's what she did. She did this. Not me. So I just wanted to let you guys know there's the update. So I see the comments all the time. Where's Tambry? How's Tambry? Is she talking to us? No, 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 no. She's living her life. She's enjoying her life while we're over here suffering, living in hell. I'm, this is the worst I've ever felt. I've never had a heartbreak so bad in my life. So I'm happy that she can live her life joyously while I'm over here sick and wondering if I am one day going to have to go to the hospital because I can't keep food in me at times. I can't work. I keep, can't keep, I don't know. My mind just goes there. It just drifts, you know. I do my best. I really do. And those who have been in my position, you know what it feels like. You do. And it's a heartbreak like no other. So thank you. I don't like to share this stuff here on my channel because it's just really, this is, it just, it's, it makes me sad. It makes you guys sad. I see you guys sad with me. I see you crying. I see you feeling the same way. I see the confusion, the not understanding, the what the hell is going on. You know, I, I see your guys' hearts breaking and it breaks me to have to, to talk to you guys about it. But you want to know. And so that's why I share um, if you didn't want to know and if you didn't care, then I wouldn't share. But you do. And that's what I love about you guys. You guys are an amazing family. There's no judgment. There's no nothing. It's just love, care. You guys have hearts. And a lot of the world lacks having a heart. So thank you to the 400 plus thousand subscribers here for having a damn heart. And I am trying so hard to work. I've started this baby and I've got tons of customs I'm working on. You know, they keep me motivated. I got this twin A that by the end of the week, I want that baby ready for hair for its mommy. Ethan needs hair for its mommy and he's so excited to go home. And I just have babies that I'm working on from long time ago and I am making progress. I, it's just, you know, it's slow. It's slower than I want. And I'm getting it together though. I really am. I really am. It's just, you know, one day at a time, guys. One day at a freaking time. But this one is so cute, right? Look at those big old eyes. Oh, my God. It's going to have blue eyes. So they'll be here soon. So 
soon on the website, I'm going to have a full full body baby, not full body, but you know, full limbs baby, not um, three quarter or anything like that. Um, so I'll have a full baby uh, with full limbs, and then we're going to have a cuddle baby, and then another alien hybrid Yoda baby. So yes, I did get limbs for that. I'm excited. So yes, thank you for enjoying that Yoda newborn baby so much that I bought limbs and we're going to have another one available soon. I believe they're arriving tomorrow. This one though is going to have three quarter arms and full legs. Um, I The other one had full limbs because I bought an entire kit and I was going to make it for something else, right? You guys know kits are expensive so that kit was like $90. But I pieced it out so I used the limbs for the Yoda and now I'm using the head for a cuddle baby because cuddle babies you guys like and so I want to make one. So we got the cuddle baby coming, but when I went to buy these limbs, so I didn't have to buy a whole another kit, um, this store had these really cute three quarter limbs. So I like them a lot. They only had three quarter limbs available. And the McPherson's where I buy my eyes. They didn't have the eyes I needed for the size that this doll has really big eyes. Oh my God, 22 millimeter eyes or 24. I don't know, it's huge. Anywho, um, so I had to buy them with Dolls by Sandy. So I bought them there and I found the limbs there and they're really cute. They're different. I've never seen them. So I'm kind of anxious to see them. I'm just hoping that they're like true to size. You know, they're not bigger because um, if they're true to size, they're going to match the Yoda's head. Perfect. That was the nice thing about having the full kit. It's like, okay, it matches the Yoda's head. It was all, all experimental things. So we'll see. I can't wait to share that with you guys. It's going to be so cute. And this one will be a boy Yoda. The next time you guys see Charlotte, she's going to be changed. I don't know what we're going to put her in. She has a lot of stuff to wear, and she needs to start wearing it. So we'll get her changed because, well, as, as cute as that dress is, we have to get you to wear other things. And something I never shared with you guys, I don't think I shared, was um, Sophia La Giraffe. I got the giraffe at um, Marshall's one time for a really cheap price, like... I think it was $8.99 or something. And you know those are expensive. Then one day we're at Marshall's and this one was clearance for $2. I just saw the cute mouse. Then I realized who it was and I was like, what? $2? Oh my gosh. So we got that one. It's really cute. And then there is Tammy Hass's baby. He's going to be here until the end of the month. She's paying him off on the 1st. And then I'll be able to send him home. He's so excited. So he's just, whoop, he's just hanging around there. I know he doesn't look excited, but trust me, that is his happy face. That's just as happy as he gets. And Lincoln over here looking super cute. And if you like this outfit, there is one available on the website. It's Janie and Jack. There's also other things available. We've been adding some stuff. I found some more shoes to sell. I think that'll be the last of the shoes to sell. Um, I'm kind of starting to run out of my things, so... Yeah, what we got there is what we got clothing-wise. I think we're just, like, finishing it up. And thank you so much, guys. I love that you love to shop through my clothes. It makes it so much fun. I'm like, I gotta buy more clothes because they have so much fun. I have so much fun. All right, fixed my hair. I don't know if I told you guys I went brown. I know I told other people on love, other love. social medias <laughs> that I did my hair brown. Can't remember. But anyways, it's brown. Styled it. We're back. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for enjoying the video. Thank you guys for enjoying all my videos. I see all the comments on like super old videos and they're like, I love all your videos. They're, you're my favorite. I see them on the new ones too. I see you guys finding my channel recently. I see on new videos. I see new people finding my channel on old videos. So I just want to say thank you so much. It's so nice to see all you guys here. Make sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram as well. Um, haven't been active there in a couple days on both those apps, actually. Hopefully I'll get active on them today. But yeah, so you guys stay safe, stay positive, and we'll be back soon. Bye!